Good morning and welcome to another edition of Friday's Financial Fitness. A few weeks ago I had talked with you about what our country's gross domestic product is and if you recall the GDP is the value of all the goods and services that are produced and typically we refer to that on an annual basis. So today I would like to share with you something called the debt to GDP ratio and this is the actual ratio between the country's government debt which is the total or cumulative debt and its GDP. A low debt to GDP ratio basically means that the economy that is producing and selling goods and services that are sufficient to pay back its debt without incurring future debt. So today I want to look across the globe to give you a perspective about what our overall debt to GDP ratio is in the United States as well as in various countries. So the numbers I'm about to share with you come from the International Monetary Fund and if we look at it on a graph with the vertical part is the percentage of debt to GDP The first country that we'll look at is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's debt to their GDP is very low at 6%. The next one is China. And China's debt to GDP is at 22%. India's debt to GDP is at 67%. Germany's debt to GDP, very similar to India, is at 70%. France's debt to GDP is at 98%. Italy's debt to GDP is 135%. And the big one of all Japan off the charts at 243% of their debt to GDP, gross domestic product. So you may ask, where's the United States? Well, actually, the United States, if I look back, in 1945, our debt to GDP was at 67%, the same as India's is today. However, fast forward to 2016, the United States is now 105% of our debt to GDP ratio. What that tells us is that our overall debt is growing at a much faster rate than our overall growth of the economy. So I hope that gives you some perspective on the overall levels of debt that countries have relative to their total output or their GDP.